Well, good Sunday morning to you folks there at uh, Portside in Myrtle Beach. Hopefully things are going well with you. Um, I know I've been seeing you've been getting some rain and uh, of course you always got the humidity and the sunshine. So I pray that things are going well with you. We will start our devotional time today with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. All right, let's... Uh, Look at our scripture, Romans 1, 1 through 7 is what we will read first. Romans 1, 1 through 7. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the holy scriptures. Concerning his son Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh, and declared to be the Son of God with power, according to the Spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead, by whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name, among whom are ye also the called of Jesus Christ. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. And then 14 through 17 reads like this. I am a debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God and the salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. And so let's read for Sunday, August the 29th, the power of the gospel. And this is from our daily bread. Ancient Rome had its own versions of the gospel. The good news, according to the poet Virgil, Zeus, king of the gods, had decreed for the Romans a kingdom without end or boundaries. The gods had chosen Augustus as divine son and savior of the world by ushering in a golden age of peace and prosperity. This, however, wasn't everyone's idea of good news. For many, it was an unwelcome reality enforced by the heavy hand of the emperor's army and executioners. The glory of the empire was built on the banks of unslaved on the backs of unslaved people who served without legal personhood or property at the pleasure of masters who ruled over them. This was in the world in which Paul introduced himself as a servant of Christ, Romans one one. Jesus, how Paul had once hated that name, and how Jesus himself had suffered for admitting to being the king of the Jews and the savior of the world. This was the good news Paul would explain to the rest of his letter to the Romans. This gospel was the power of God that brings salvation to everyone that believes. Oh, how it was needed by those who suffered under Caesar. Here was the news of a crucified and resurrected savior, the liberator, who conquered his enemies by showing how much he loved them. As you read Paul's opening words unto the Romans, what phrases describe the good news to you? Why would Paul, who once hated Jesus so much, now want everyone to believe in him? Well, you know, I, I, I don't know that I don't know that we hated him before we knew him. 
but there's no way we loved him like we do now before we knew him. So we're thankful for um, salvation and for what he brings to us. Let's sing this little song that was talking about uh, the love of God and how much Christ loves us. And we've sang this before, but uh, uh, let's sing it again. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died, heaven's gates to open wide. He will wash away my sin, let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, loves me still. Though I'm very weak and ill. From his shining throne on high Comes to watch me where I lie Yes, Jesus loves me Yes, Jesus loves me Yes, Jesus loves me The Bible tells me so All right, folks, it's good to know that the Lord loves us, right? Well, you know, uh, if you don't know, you should know. Teresa and I here in Ohio, we love you folks, and uh, we're thankful uh, that we get to spend just this short amount of time with you. God bless you, and we'll see you again next Sunday.